What up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's Essen. I'm back here with another video. This video will be tire sticker install. I mean, I got the tire. What is it? Let me see. I got the brand right here. I got the Treadwear um, tire stickers, man. So before you guys uh, do anything else, make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you like the video. If you like the video, man, I'm gonna get right into it. And I'm gonna show you guys um, me uh, doing the install of these tire stickers. So I already installed two of them. So I'm gonna show you guys pretty much what I'm gonna do now um, doing the install. So I'm gonna show you something real quick as I flip the camera around. So as you guys can see, I have my tires inside of my house. It's about 50 or 60 degrees outside and it says you have to have um, your tire stickers and your tires within like a 65 uh, degree area so I do they've been in the, they've been in the house for about a couple of hours now I got my tread uh, tread wear items here and I got my tires here so I'm just going to set the camera up for you guys so you can see it so So what they tell you to do first is they tell you to make sure that you clean your tires. So me, um, it's ain't like soap and water, but I use uh, these. Actually, these tires are brand new, so I actually waited. I did the other two because I needed um, I needed uh, to get new tires. So I'm like, I'm not gonna put my tire stickers on until I get new tires. So these two tires are brand new tires. So. All right, so I had to go get me a rag. So I sprayed these down already with tire, uh, with uh, simple green. And what I'm doing right now is just making sure I clean the whole tire, the sidewall, exactly where the tire stickers are going to be. These tires are actually a lot easier and a lot less dirty because they're brand new. They actually don't even have too much on them. So for this video, I'm only going to show you putting on one of the stickers. But I'll at least show you guys how I do it. So, tire is pretty much clean. As you, as you can see, it wasn't even that dirty. They're brand new tires, literally brand new tires. So the second thing, after you clean your tires, is you gotta get some of this acetone right here. This is the most important thing. This helps you make sure your tire is really clean, but the tire stickers stick. So, let's see if I can open this without spilling it. So what you do is take your acetone here, pretty much just put it on your rag, not too much, and then go ahead and wipe your sidewall down. This is way different because these tires are brand new, but if it's not brand new tires from my other two tires, I had to go over like two to three times because it was still getting all this crud on my actual rag. So you want to keep cleaning it until you literally have hardly nothing coming off on your rag. So this acetone is strong too. It seeps through the gloves and you can pull it on your finger. Some strong stuff. But this is actually the most important thing, I think. Because you can use whatever soap and water, you can use simple green. But as you can see, once you put the acetone on, 
get tired will still have this all this dirt on it for the acetone get that off again try not to get this on your actual rim as you guys can see my rims are painted you just look at my other videos i painted them myself they're all i had these ones for about six or seven years but i won't get any new ones so if i get it on the, the paint it'll come right off so that's step number two so step number one was to clean your tire off with regular simple green or uh, soap and water and step number two was to clean off with acetone um step number three was to get all the extra little rubbers with the razor blade off your tire so stay tuned okay so i used my little razor blade box cutter to cut up all the rubber so i didn't videotape that it's not too difficult you just see them you cut them off and that's it so this is actually my tread wear uh kit so this is the directions they give you um like i said i'm already did a cleaning portion of that cut everything off they give you the high bond tire adhesive so because i got the stickers and i got the side uh things they gave me actually three of them like i said i did two tires already with just one and they actually gave me uh they actually gave me three of them so again i'm doing this inside my house just because it's easier for me um because of the weather outside so i got these for the side of the, the wheels you get the stickies to set up your your, your letters you get the actual letters itself you actually get the um, the paper, the sanding paper, so you can sand it. I want you to sand down your tire. So I'll show you guys. I didn't do this step, but I'll show you guys right now as I do it. Again, I know most of you guys are going to be doing it while your while your wheels are on your tire, so it's kind of a little bit harder. But this is actually way easier. I took these off just so I can get new tires and do this, so I have my factory tires on. But they just said a light coat, nothing too crazy. Again, mine are brand new tires. So this is actually a little bit different than when I had to do it on my other two. And the thing is, I know some people are like, why do you get four brand new tires? Well, my other two tires are pretty, pretty new. I bought them last year. I had them off my car for a little bit, so they're new. My other two weren't. But now I got the same thing. So you see it, that's all I did. Took me five minutes, <laughs> five seconds, whatever. So back to it. So this is where I feel as though you guys might see a little bit different. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you set up the, the lettering on how you're gonna want your, how you're gonna want it on your wheel. There's two ways to do it. So the way that they tell you is to take off, take out all the letters and use this film, right? And you can set the curve up and put it right on your tire, which makes it way easier, takes a lot less time. The issue that I had when I first did it with my other two tires, it didn't curve exactly the way that I like. We'll see. Okay, so I actually put it on backwards. So I put the M here. Um, a. All right. There you have it. So I didn't use the top, as you guys can see. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll show you. So there goes Mamba. So I don't know if you guys can see. I already added the adhesive to the racing stripe. This is all you need. You don't need a significant amount. Just be close to the edges. I actually have a piece of tape left that I used because I put the other stickers on by hand. So I'm going to show you guys me actually placing this on here.
So once you place it, you do the exact same thing with the letters. You place it and you hold section for about 20 seconds. You place it down. The biggest thing is the edges. Um, a little bit of glue will seep through. You'll see it when it dries up. It looks like a little white film on the tire but it comes right off. So you hold down the pressure. You can tell once it's like stuck, there won't be no bubble, it won't move. And you place it, press it, 20 seconds like I said. Boom, you put, place it down, hold it 20 seconds. And then you just pull the tape right off. And that's what it looks like. Just guys can see, so. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do for all of the lettering. The only thing is the 300, I'm gonna individually place those. And then I'm gonna put glue on the back of these as well. Place it hold for 20 seconds and, that, and that's it. So I'm gonna show you guys the end result once I place and glue all the lettering. So once I place the letters on the plastic, as you can see here, I placed it like it doesn't completely bend, so I had to cut the A separately and place it, as well as I had to cut the K separately and place it. You place it where you want everything to look, that way it comes out even. So once you do that, as you can see, I got the plastic on the black and the mama. They didn't give me enough uh, plastic to put on the, the racing stripes, as well as the 300. So I'm gonna do that, um, and then I'm going to put glue on the back of uh, the lettering and place it down. So I'll show you guys that as well. So I'm about to show you the easiest way to glue and stick the stickers on. So like I said, like I told you, once you put it on, you put it on backwards. And when you tape it, you tape it at the end, but along the line. That way you can pull it back and glue it like that. So I'm gonna try to see if you guys can see it as I glue it like that so you guys can get an idea of how I do it so hopefully you can see it so, as you can see, it's kind of in place now. I just place the glue along. It's like you're coloring. Now one thing good about the tape, it keeps you from getting all uh, sticky and it protects you from getting the glue outside of the tape. So, uh, I messed that up. So then when she glue it, I put all the glue on it right like that. And then I just flip it over. Flip it over, hold it for 20 seconds. One, two, you guys get what I'm saying. So you just hold it for 20 seconds. We're just gonna assume that's 20 seconds. You hold it down, you press all sides of it. As you can see, it sticks right to it. And the good thing about the plastic, it protects it from getting dirty as you stick it in. Like I said, I don't have any gloves on. I tried to use gloves earlier. It wasn't a good idea. And then you just peel it, peel it off. So the thing is, if you realize you have some, some edges that aren't fully glued, then just go around them with the glue. It's going to leave this, this ugly white film on the outside, but you can clean that up. 
afterwards. So that's the easiest way to make sure you put the, the letters on. And I said in the early part of the video that they didn't give me enough of the stickies, but you can just reuse them. So I just use, reused the one that I used for the, the red, and I did it for the 300. That was it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the Black Mamba next. I'm not going to show you guys me doing it, but that's going to be the concept of it. It's too easy, so. So, installing the tire stickers is complete. I mean, so you only had to buy, I had to buy the acetone. Um, they didn't provide that. Uh, Troy Ward didn't provide that. I needed two different rags. Um, and I pretty much needed some gloves. But that was about it. Other than that, they gave me everything I needed. It probably took me about an hour to do, um, probably about an hour and 15 minutes to do all four of them. I only did two today. It took me probably about 45 minutes. My first two took me the longest because I did each individual tire, I mean, each individual letter. But this time I actually used the stickers and it actually worked out so much better. So again, um, let's take a little bit of time. Make sure you use the stickers. Make sure if you got uh, used tires that you make sure you clean them off really, really, really good and they'll stick good. Um, and do not like throw away the stickies because you'll need them if you don't have enough to complete all four tires. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks when it's done. Obviously mine weren't on my car, so check it out. So as you can see, came out pretty good. Came out pretty good. I'm excited to see these on, on the wheel. I'm going on vacation in the morning, so I probably won't put them on today. Maybe I will, but I'll let you guys also see them on the car. So, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Um, please, please, please hit subscribe, hit like, um, and I'm going to continue to uh, provide you guys some more content. I don't know if I'm going to add the car onto this video. I might just do a whole separate video of my tires in my car with the tire stickers on it. That way you guys have another video to watch. But again, y'all stay good. Peace up. Bless up. Y'all be good. I'm out. Peace.